I'm using After Effects CC for this. Uh, it can. This is possible in any After Effects. So the basics are very simple. I'll just try to keep it really short and simple. So let's begin. This is a clip I have. I'll just drag this. And this is a clip I had shot in Panasonic GH4. Uh, it was shot in Cine like deep pro flat profile and before you jump into color correction it is very important to understand what you want to achieve and the st story or th mood so what I am saying might change if the mood of the film is different so please don't follow blindly it is important you understand the film more and then choose the way you want to grade your shot okay as you might be knowing grading is the second part of color correction there is a difference between color correction and grading I am not getting too much into it color correction is basically making sure that your shot is exposed properly and you it just forms a base for color grading which is adding style to your footage so I'll just mark my in point. So if you can see, notice the skin tones, I'll just zoom it a bit. Skin tones, it's a bit dusky here, and her makeup is not highlighted much. So I would definitely like to add some punch, the colors. The idea behind the shot is since I have a grey tone here and the background and the skin the orange teal look which is very famous now I think would go well with this shot so let's jump into it the first thing I would like to do is add, a, add an adjustment layer ok it's command option Y on the Mac and command alt Y on the PC so the first thing I would like to add is curves. The basic thing is to just I'll just pump up the highs, crush the shadows and the mids. You can see already it's made a huge difference to the footage. That's the advantage in shooting flat the flat profile gives you enough scope for us to change what we want you can see some highlights just in the skin so it depends to state you can just we low it down a bit so now I've since I've added some punch my next step would be to grade this so do I first thing you need to question yourself do you need grading or this is good enough to go a lot of people this is good enough to go to maintain the look to the but a lot of times people want to give a look to the film a mood since you can see this is a negative character trying to show off her anger okay I would like to go for a coldish tone here like I said we can go for an orangish orange steel look in fact I'll give you a very simple secret of going for an quickly for an orange steel look. I'll open another adjustment layer and call it grading. The earlier one I would call it color correction. Okay. So in the grading layer I would like to add a simple effect called selective color. Selective color is a very good tool to control the colors individually. For example, I can adjust the reds in the color. If I increase, there'll be it moves towards cyan. If I reduce, you can see more of red. So if you want a more of a reddish look, you can go for this. I would just like to add some red to the skin tone. One important thing you should always remember is when you do color correction I would like to 
use the slider method where I don't look at the slider I go to one extreme to the other extreme and slowly try to dial in the desired result and when your eye feels that you are right there just leave it there magenta do you want to add some magenta in it or some yeah, uh, green and I would, I would repeat the same method and just a little bit of green or maybe just a little bit the yellows do you want it yellow or do you want it a coldish tone I would like to again repeat the process here take it to the extreme right left and then to the right where you feel the skin tone is just about right once I've got a hold of the red color I would straight away jump to the neutrals because this I believe is the where the magic happens so the first thing you want to do is decide whether you want to crush the black or brighten the shot so I'll just go right about there since I've already used curves the other way is you can avoid curves and directly jump into this but color correction is a process where you go back and forth till you achieve the look that you want and for the orange tree look this is the magic button so I just go here you can straight away see a lot of teal that just come and if you go to the other extreme oops sorry other extreme the reds are increasing so I'll just go slowly so, uh, till I feel that I've got the desired result right about there again you can see the magenta and, and the yellows and the blues right about there I feel this is not bad from where we started now I would like to make the skin a bit more orangish so I'll just go to the yellows again and I'm interested in the blacks which will add some punch to the yellows if you notice I'm adding more skin punch to it and some yellow like to go back to the red and add some red to mix yellow and red to make it orange okay now if you see she has become even more duskier which I don't think the actor would like that too much so I'll just brighten it a bit So we are almost there with the orange steel look. One thing I would like to add is a bit more of punch to it. So I'll add one more layer of curves. Just a wee bit. this is a cool way of getting that orange teal look you can see the shadows have a feel of teal to it of course a lot of it has been aided because of the color of the dress which makes the an actor stand out right now so this is where we began with oh, I'm sorry this is where we began with and this is where where we ended we can also add a vignette if you want this is as per personal preference I'll just add a black solid add a ellipse tool just invert the mask 
feather press F for feather and just feather it and just make it fit shouldn't look too symmetrical and a couple of modes you can try you can change more to overlay but since the hand is going here I would not recommend this so let's just keep it normal and just go to the opacity and just slowly get it down and now you can see it's a very subtle change that color correction is all about being subtle so here we go short quick tip please do write on the comment section and if you want to have any color correction tutorials in photoshop or after effects i would love to help you out if i have made any mistakes or run through very fast please do comment it will be very well appreciated and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as i am planning to give away free lots in the future too